I called it. I called it. I said, I said in my previous episodes, I don't know which episode it was, or a review, that Anika would either get with Andre, which that didn't happen, or Hakeem. She hooked up with Hakeem. Welcome, guys. Empire season finale died but once. Gotta say, really enjoyed this season finale. Did think it was a little bit, you know, it stumbled just a little bit uh, with the camera angles. I was, I didn't agree on some of the like close-ups of Lucius and Cookie, uh, the freaking freestyle. The people, you know, the freestyle that that one dude did against Jamal was terrible, terrible. It was terrible. And then Snoop Dogg basically just coming in to promote his new song. I, I don't give a damn about you, Snoop Dogg. Your new song's okay. It's whatever. I don't I don't care. You're old now. You're done, man. You're done. <clears throat> but no, I'll, I'm assuming you saw the episode. This is a spoiler review, so I'm assuming you saw the episode. These are just my thoughts. And I uh, got to say, man, a uh, lot of things, you know, weaving, going, a lot of things, you know, completed now setting up especially especially setting up for season two especially with that ending <coughs> excuse me um let's get right down to it lucius finds out that cookie and malcolm are pretty much you know sleeping together lucius has his big tribute concert slash comeback concert and we have somebody took over empire somebody finally got the keys to the empire I think the biggest thing we need to talk about, though, is Lucius not dying. Now, Lucius not dying was a twist. It, I did not see that coming. It was just really the chronic. Nah, it was like a chronic something where he just he was taking the wrong medication. They diagnosed him wrong. They they they, they had it all wrong. <coughs> so Lucius not dying. I think he, I still think there's something maybe wrong with him. I'm not sure. But him not dying, I'll just leave it at that. He's not dying. So that's great because, you know, Terrence Howard. I bet you Terrence Howard was in the back. He's like, oh, I don't know, man. This show. This show, man. I don't know. And then the show blows up. Man, I want to come back for five more seasons. You know, maybe something that had to do with something. But, uh, yeah, it's great to see Terrence Howard's going to be here for a while. Unless something, you know, happens where he gets killed by Cookie, by Pillow. Oh, man, I didn't really like that as well. You know, the writers basically needed Cookie to find out about Terrence Howard and what he did. So they just give him hopped up in a bunch of pills, which I don't think, I just don't think hopped up in that much pills and, you know, hallucinating when you're all passed out. At that right, at that moment, you know, with Cookie there, him split, spilling out his, you know, confessions right there. <clears throat> so I don't know about that. Speaking of confessions, my God. Exactly, right? Andre, Andre, Andre. Finding God, a.k.a. Jennifer Hudson. Uh, I didn't really care for that kind of plot point. I thought it was going to be a little bit more interesting, but it wasn't. We found out that Jennifer Hudson, you know, Andre was feeling Jennifer Hudson. But Jennifer Hudson, you know, the money talks. Money talks. Once Lucius gets, you know, the devils in your ear, boom. So Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson being influenced by Lucius and, you know, taking the money or overall just, you know, just she didn't do anything bad. It's just that, you know, she was you could tell that she was going goo goo or gaga that she would probably be tempted and given to temptation, whatever Lucius asked for. If Lucius asked to sleep with her, she probably would have slept with Lucius. So Andre, you know, feeling vulnerable and feeling you thought he found the path of God, but he didn't. Uh, him and his wife, I think there's an interesting relationship in that point. I think it was very stupid what they did with Vernon. You know, when Vernon and Andre had that big ass fight and then uh, Andre's wife hit him on the back of the head. I knew uh, it kind of sucks because, you know, a lot of the stuff like we were already predicted or we thought was going to happen. And uh, but the spoiler spoilers started coming out with Vernon maybe not returning to the show. This is exactly why, because he got hit over the head and he's dead. Vernon's dead. <coughs> the actor's done. Uh, we find. But it was awesome to find out that he was the one that ratted out Lucius. But oh man, boy did Andre Andre fucked up, man. Andre fucked up. Uh you know Andre's wife being pregnant. Is it really his kid though? Did on you know did she like sleep with anybody else? It might be. It's probably his his kid. Uh, I do like that relationship though. I do like you know they they're there for each other. You know she she really does care for Andre and Andre. Andre. God. Andre's a definitely a difficult character. It's good to have a character like Andre because 
is somebody you dislike, but somebody you fully do not hate. You don't hate Andre. You kind of understand the struggle he's going through. You kind of sympathize with him. He's a tragic character. That's what he is. And uh, that's, for me, in my opinion, what he is. <clears throat> but he fucked up with Vernon. He fucked up with Vernon. They should have called, though. They definitely should have called and said self-defense, but that, that was terrible. That was stupid, you know, for being as smart as she is. That was a stupid decision by Andre's wife. Now, let's get down to business. Who took over Empire? It wasn't Hakeem, and I damn sure it wasn't Andre. And I thought it would be Cookie, but with all the situation now that I was going through, and then, you know, Lucius looking over the tapes and finding out that Cookie tried to kill him, that wasn't going to happen. It went to Jamal. And this is actually a really cool idea. This They could play a lot with this storyline as well. And they already did, you know, hint at somewhat a little bit of it. But I think they should go further with it because it's a big issue. It's a big issue in music industry. It's a big issue in just overall. I mean, we have gay R&B singers. We had Frank Ocean. Um, but Frank Ocean, you know, it's hard to really, Sam Smith, it's hard to really accept because, uh, as you can see, Frank Ocean hasn't really done that much after he came out, which is kind of crazy. <clears throat> but it's more accepted in R&B, where in hip-hop and rap, it's not, you know, it, it's just how it is. It's just how it is in the music industry. It's just how it is in the general audience or whatever. They don't accept a gay uh, hip-hop artist. They don't accept a rapper being, you know, homosexual. That is a big issue that Empire could really grasp and really take hold of and no pun intended you know could really just uh they could really just do something there because that's a big issue that's big controversy i believe snoop dogg himself said that there's no way there will never be a gay rapper because harsh reality those mcs will go after this guy he they will destroy whoever comes out as homosexual it's just how it is. It's because it's supposed to be a macho, you know, street street cred type uh, <clears throat> genre. You know, it's it just doesn't have any room for homosexuals. So it'd be interesting if uh, Empire tackles that. Now that Empire uh, Empire has uh, Jamal as running it, even though Jamal is an R and B singer, he has artists like ra MCs, rappers under his label now under his name that don't want to be affiliated with Jamal we we saw that with that one guy who just absolutely was terrible at freestyling first first of all they had that whole setup like freaking 8 mile i know they did that on purpose Jamal coming in and destroying him singing destroying him singing what the hell is up oh my god that dude was terrible at freestyling. What the hell was... I don't even remember his name. He said it too. I don't care. He was ter He was terrible. Get his ass out. Speaking of terrible, I know we're supposed to be focusing on Jamal taking over Empire, but Titan. Titan. What a shitty ass character. What a shitty ass comparison they made about him being the next Tupac. I'm a huge Tupac fan. All my friends are huge Tupac fans. People are just huge Tupac fans, and they know that if you're going to compare one of the greatest to ever rock the mic, the greatest to ever express himself to be the realest, you better have a character that's worthy of that mention. And freaking Titan is nowhere near worthy, even freaking MC Hammer. Get his, at, get his crusty ass out of here. Be gone. Bye, Titan. Bye, Felicia. Damn. Just get out of here. Oh, uh, Titan's just terrible. Well, let's get back to Jamal. Jamal taking over Empire. I like it. I Like like I said, the storyline can go that way. I did like him and Lucius' song that they made together. You know, trying to get Lucius back in the game because Lucius had, you know, writer's block. He's like, man, I can't, I can't put, I got to push that shit out. You know, uh, the demise of Malcolm and Cookie's relationship was fine. I guess that's it. I guess that's it with that relationship. That was fast. Uh, Cookie never loved Malcolm anyway. I did like how, you know, Cookie, Cookie got to get some of hers, you know. Absolutely love. 
I called it. I called it. I called that Hakeem was going to hook up with Anika. And um, even though it wasn't like they're not, you know, lovey-dovey, you know, a pair or anything, it's really just to get back at his dad because, you know, his dad sent <laughs> Camille overseas or whatever, and Hakeem is still pissed. Love the diss, though. Love the diss when, he, you know, Snoop Dogg was performing, even though I didn't really care for that. Hakeem dissing Lucius right in front of him, and Lucius punching the shit out of him. Love that. Uh, well, one punch. One punch knockout. And, uh, but Hakeem getting with Anika and Lucius catching him, that was priceless. You know, Anika, they're still hooking up too. It uh, looks like it. Uh, Anika's really taking his career. Ooh, wait till Camille comes in the picture though. Mmm, loving that, loving that. I love that fight though. I love Cookie being Cookie. Cookie whooping Anika's ass, but Anika, you know, throwing some blows, throwing some body shots. Came out of nowhere. I was just like watching it, and then you just see fucking... Give me no pearls, you know? It was fucking hilarious. I was like, oh, shit. Cat fight. Let me, let me get my popcorn real quick. Yeah, get it. Get, oh, damn, Anika. Yeah, grab that booty. You know, it's just, it was it was awesome cat fight. Uh, overall, you know, and then uh, Vernon. A lot of stuff to cover. Vernon talking uh, talking to Cookie, telling her the whole situation. You know, Cookie after Cookie finding out with the hallucinations with Lucius. Uh, you know, Cookie just hates Lucius. Everybody hates Lucius right now except Jamal. Jamal, you know, Lucius telling him that he loves him and he didn't know how to handle his homosexuality. He's really grooming Jamal to be him. So that's the only one that's on his side at this point because Hakeem, Andre are not. They're trying to do a hostile takeover and they, Lucius is arrested. Lucius is arrested with the murder of Bunky, but Vernon was the witness he no witness anymore, but they, a lot of people are thinking that Cookie, uh, especially Jamal, thinking that Cookie was the one that ratted, but it wasn't her. You know, Cookie don't do that shit. And then, you know, him going to jail for just, you know, a little bit, just for a little bit of time. I mean, it's going to be, uh, yeah, hopefully he comes out with some new music. I noticed that throughout this whole series, they're trying not to have Terrence Howard rap or something. He sings, but he doesn't really rap. Come on, give us that hustle and flow rap, damn it. You know, whoop that trick, get her, whoop that. I need that. I need that hustle and flow type rap. Well, they haven't gotten to us. I mean, I was waiting for the big moment, but that didn't happen because Jamal ended up singing with <coughs> singing at the end, and um, that was a great performance. Excuse me, by the way. Overall, great uh, great season finale. Can't wait for the uh, setup of how everything's going to go down. Um, Vernon's gone. Um... Andre's going to have a baby. Uh, Hakeem's hooking with Anika. And Hakeem was going to go to another label. I don't think so anymore. Because Jamal says he got free reigns. Jamal taking over Empire. Cookie. You know, being Cookie at this point. It was really sad when, you know, uh, freaking Lucius like, you were never even in the game, bitch. Pretty much. Pretty much like what he, what he said when uh, Cookie couldn't be in a board member. Because, you know, she's a conflict... She's she's a felon or whatever. She's she was in jail. She did time, so that was sad. Um, what else should I be discussing here? A lot of things is going on. You know, I just watched it right now. Uh, a lot of emotions. I want to be on that show so bad. Get me, let me be in there. Let me be in the show, please. I would like to uh, Tyrese to be on that show. It'd be awesome. Like I said, my last review. That'd be cool. Uh, but that's about it. That's all I have to say. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's all I have to really say. Um, I just gotta say, you know, subscribe, like, I make videos every single day, it was a great ride with Empire Season 1, can't wait for Season 2, can't wait for all the guests, you know, some new music, hopefully they fix the score a little bit, I think the score needs to be better than just, you know, ripping off Scarface and The Godfather, and overall, enjoyed Empire very much, and can't wait for Season 2, so let me know your thoughts on the season finale and the overall series of Empire, and... That's all I got to say, because you just a baby boy, baby boy, uh, slow it down, baby boy, baby boy, uh, slow it down, baby boy, you just a baby boy. Thug life.